It's now time to find out who is the massive signee to the Red Brand. Wrestling has more than one royal family. Ladies and gentlemen, look who's here! The American Nightmare has come to Monday Night Raw! Well, wait a minute, on the Tron, it's Triple H. Randy talking about his first match? Federal will compete at Payback, a familiar face. I have I in my head. RKO! Randy Orton! Randy Orton is Cody Rhodes' opponent? Welcome everyone live to Monday Night Raw. As we're live tonight, ladies and gentlemen, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where tonight the Viper makes his way down the aisle. As we're only less than two weeks away from the WWE Payback pay per view featuring this man, but let's take it back to Raw last week. At the end, the Randy Orton took advantage of a distracted Cody Rhodes after Triple H announced that Cody would be going one-on-one -on -one with the familiar face, which left for the Viper to strike on the American Nightmare. And now Randy Orton, after posing, after standing tall over Cody, will face the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes at the payback pay-per-view less than two weeks from Tonight, he'll be Cody Rhodes' first match back in the WWE. But Randy Orton looking to address what happened last week. Why did he drop Cody Rhodes with an RKO? Why did he have to attack him from behind? When well, he could have just easily just accepted the challenge and just don't get physical. But in, the end, but in the end, we all know how the Viper moves. It's been a while since we've seen Randy Orton. Last time we saw Orton on Raw was when he fought Bobby Lashley. Which, by the way, later on tonight, we will have an answer on why Bobby Lashley uh, did not show up at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view about two weeks ago. Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes do go way back in the legacy days back in 2009. Orton going to send a message when he goes one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet later on tonight in our main event. And what the, wait a minute. Here comes the one and only. And Ricochet. Obviously Ricochet taking an exception to Orton mentioning his name that he'll be late facing later on tonight. Ricochet calling Randy Orton jealous of the fact that all the attention went to Cody Rhodes and not him. Obviously, Randy Orton disagrees or just doesn't care at all. These two back and forth with verbal jabs. Good grief. Randy Orton 
bring it up that Ricochet has not been uh, so lucky as of late as far as being on pay-per-view at WrestleMania, World Tunnel Matches, etc. But it looks like the Viper might have given Ricochet a little bit of motivation to change that here tonight. Ricochet and Randy Orton will meet later on in our main event. These two never liked each other since Ricochet came to WWE years ago. Ricochet, Orton later on in our main event, but also coming up next, we're going to hear from Kofi Kingston regarding the attack that took place last week. Live here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Kofi Kingston set for action, but he's looking to address what happened at the end of Raw last week after Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods defended the Raw Tag Team Championships. When they went up against the Hurt Business, the New Day successfully walked out with the titles, but sadly got a beat down to go with it. Celebrating their win, and then right here, these two figures make their way towards the ring, which we later on to find out one his name is one name is Mace and the other name is T Bar. And they're called Retribution, taking it towards Kingston and Woods last week. And now tonight, Kofi Kingston at it alone here on Raw. Xavier Woods is not here tonight, so we don't know the status of Woods regarding if, whether he got, he received an injury from last week or, I don't know, we haven't heard from Woods at all, but all we know is this, Kofi Kingston is out here, they're going to call out one of the members of the group called Retribution, whether it's Mace or Tebow. Kofi Kingston realizes that he's alone here tonight, but he's willing to fight somebody. Look at to call out one of them. Also challenging them to a match at the Payback Pay-Per-View. Uh-oh. Who's it going to be? Look at that. I guess we got our answer. Here comes T-Bar. Here comes T-Bar. I think he was the one that attacked uh, Xavier Woods, while Mace was the one that attacked uh, Kofi last week in that ambush. And now tonight, making his uh, Raw debut. And also at Payback, they'll also make their debut on Pay-Per-View in Retribution, taking on the New Day, and it's official for the Raw Tag Team Championships. New Day, they're not looking to back down from this at all. New Day has been fighting tag team champions since winning the gold back at WrestleMania. Won the tag titles, then defended it since then. We have we've had dominant tag teams in the past, and how fitting is that New Day is the new or the current Raw Tag Team Champions when they were the last one Raw Tag Team Champions in Universe Mode years ago. Wait, wait, it. There's Mace. Wait a minute, if Mace is here, where the hell's Woods? Again, Kofi Kingston added alone tonight. Look at a battle, T-Bar one-on-one. Kingston springboard, true kick on the T-Bar. No sign of Xavier Woods at all. Hopefully there'll be an update, but T-Bar, look at a ticket towards Kingston. Able to take him down and a big old maneuver there. And a big splash to follow. The New Day, current Raw Tag Team Champions. Now they're going to back down from Retribution. The New Day has run up against a lot of great tag teams. As, ooh, over the top, the Kingston. Now they're going to fly on the T-Bar. They're going to take it towards him. Strike up the strike. And now Kingston now. And, oh. Slamming his skull with the mask on onto the top turnbuckle. And I shot the shot there. Iris Swift, they're going to send T-Bar into the corner. And then, oh, look at Kingston. Full mount punches on the T-Bar. And Kingston with an uppercut. 
I mean, T-Bar is dealing with the, one of the most decorated superstars in all of WWE, Kofi Kingston. But, oh, T-Bar with an enziguri. Apparently, the big man is able to get off his feet there. And now Kingston trying to fight back, but look at T-Bar. Oh, able to take him down. But look at what, uh, Kingston able to find a way to find an opening. We're going to try to be in control. Trouble in paradise. Could it be to put T-Bar away? Oh, he doesn't have him. He does not have T-Bar. And now T-Bar looking to try to get back in it. Oh, my God. He just tossed Kingston across the ring. You know, where the hell, where the hell is he going? No way this big man about to fly. Oh, oh he tried to go for a, a, an axe drop, but luckily Kingston got out the way. Missed the right. Springboard again. Nailed him with a drop kick. And now Kofi on the second rope. This is why he's got down. He recognized that t was a bit too far. Oh, able to stop himself. And now Kingston. Ooh. Able to get him in the corner. Back elbow. Back and forth they go in this one-on-one -on -one match here. Again with Mace at ringside. No doubt that's weighing on the mind of Kingston. That T-Bar's partner is at ringside and it can play dividends, especially that Woods is down at ringside. Mr. Trouble in Paradise. Nailed with a super kick. Mr. Trouble in Paradise. And now T-Bar got him up on the shoulders. Oh, God. He calls it the feast your eyes. Hook of the lag. Not enough. Kingston not looking to go down without a fight. Able to kick out. As T-Bar in position. Discus boot to the face. And a, oh my God. A standing corkscrew sent on in another. This T bar guy's a different breed. And I got him. A sidewalk slam. A sidewalk slam there by T bar towards Kofi. Got him up on his shoulders again. Could it be to feast your eyes? It's like an inverted. Uh, go to sleep would it be enough and again Kingston got his shoulder up able to withstand the pain and able to kick out and now Kofi Kofi in trouble single knee camel clutch submission hold Again, Kingston not looking to stay down, not looking to say die. T-Bar trying to fly, but Kingston got out the way. And now Kingston now. The kicks and the snap suplex. All to survive here tonight on Raw. Kingston up top. Big old leg drop. Right across the body of T-Bar. And now Kingston again up top. Waiting for T-Bar to get up to his feet. T-Bar, got covered across body, hook and leg, Mace not looking to view there, but T-Bar kicked out in two. Oh my goodness. Again, Kofi putting up a fight, but look at T-Bar now, look at the battle back. And now T-Bar just punishing Kingston, slamming his skull. And now look at, oh my god, springboard leg drop, are you kidding me? And I got him up on his shoulders. The inverted GTS. Oh, the feast your eyes. Third time. Will it be the charm? And T-Bar gets the win. A hard fought battle. But in the end, T-Bar with the win. Back and forth match. And Retribution able to get a W here tonight. Especially in singles competition. And what the... What is T-Bar telling Mace to do? Oh, oh, wait a minute. No, no, come on. Oh, come on. He's defenseless. 
a steel chair. Russell trying to apprehend him, but no. T-Bar doesn't give a damn about the rules. Doesn't give a damn about kicks the towel. And oh, God. Two chair shots on the Kingston. And now look at Mace. He wants a piece of Kingston as well. This is pathetic. Oh, God. All oh, to send a message. Here I'm wrong. For the first time since 2K17, WWE Payback returns as a pay-per-view. Featuring both Raw and SmackDown brands, you don't want to miss the next pay-per-view in Universe Mode, WWE Payback. So we're back backstage, see Triple H, the Raw General Manager. Addressing the fact that Johnny Gargano is now the NXT World Champion on the rebranded NXT show Which means that the Cruiserweight title is now vacant And Triple H is going to figure out a way to give the Monday Night Raw roster more of an opportunity I mean does this mean that the Cruiserweight title is no more on Raw or Well, we're going to figure out what Triple H will have in store for the rest of the locker room? I mean, we do have a lot of titles on the Raw roster. We have the not only the Raw Women's title, the Women's Tag Team titles as well. We have the the Universal Championship and the United States title, the Raw Tag Titles. There's a lot. There's a lot of titles on the Raw roster. Will Triple H be able to find another one, or will he bring back the Cruiserweight Championship? Well, as we try to switch gears, speaking of the Raw Women's title, here comes the challenger for that very championship at the Payback Pay-Per-View. Made a return at the Money to Bank Pay-Per-View a few weeks ago. Here comes Mia Yim. Mia Yim, a former NXT Women's Champion who once dethroned Charlotte Flair on Pay-Per-View before at Elimination Chamber in Season 6. And now, Mia Yim looking to go at it tonight against a former SmackDown Women's Champion, two-time SmackDown Women's Champion, in Candice LeRae. Again, Mia Yim looking to try to build momentum, heading towards her battle against Charlotte on pay-per-view for that very Raw Women's Championship. Candice LeRae, Mia Yim, one-on-one -on -one here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Bell swung and there we go. And ooh, Candice Arrayed gonna take it towards Mia Yim here. And now, oh, able to counter. Landing on her feet, trying to go for a, a move here. Look at that, crucifix, but not able to keep Mia Yim down for the three. Big kick to the knee, but oh, big kick. Mia Yim now taking it towards Candice Array. Those kicks and then a boot from good measure. And a kick to the spine as well. And now Yim going at it. Nice. Big kick. Top and shot to the back and a knee. Oh, trying to go for a drop kick. Couldn't get him. And then. Give it a planner face first to Yim. And then Mia Yim. Good grief. Eat defeat by Yim. And now Yim looking to take Candice Ray to the outside. Hanging on. Oh, I'm gonna, able to hunger out to dry with that uh, hot shot, if you will. And now look at Yim with the 450 on the floor. Holy. Looking to send the message towards Charlotte Flair. And oof. Shot after shot. Shot after shot. As uh ooh. You're able to send her face first into the the post there. I mean things are not looking good for Mrs. Uh Candace Wrestling, but Candace Wrestling gonna get back in the ring as well. Mia Yim taunting the crowd, but Candace obviously trying to regroup inside the ring. And ooh, kicked to the midsection. And then another. And an insecurity didn't connect there. 
Oh, super kick to the knee. Oh, what a kick there as well. Katasura taking it towards me. Um, hook of the line, could it be? Not even close. And oh, missed the kick. And I got her position downstairs. Up she goes. Oh! Set out power bomb by Yim. And now, got her downstairs again. Wait a minute. Oh, another set out power bomb. Just taking it towards Loret. And now Mia Yim, shot to the knee, what's this? Oh no, protect your neck! Protect your neck, would that be the fate of Charlotte Flair at Payback Pay-Per-View? Candice Roy put up a fight, but in the end, HBIC in control. Able to build momentum, heading towards the Payback Pay-Per-View. Mia Yim, no doubt looking good, up against Charlotte Flair. Well, this is John coming up next. We're going to hear from MVP regarding Bobby Lashley's absence in the last few weeks from Money in the Bank to now. We're going to hear from MVP. Don't go anywhere. Live next, backstage. Bobby Lashley apparently received an injury while training. He wanted to compete in the ladder match, but the doctors say otherwise. And apparently Lashley's demanding a match for the payback pay-per-view. So that means we're going to see Bobby Lashley return at the payback pay-per-view. In an open challenge. MVP and Bobby Lashley hosting an open challenge regarding a match at the Payback Pay-Per-View. Well, we're going to find out what's going to happen there. Who will step up to face the Almighty? Only less than two weeks from tonight. And now we're moving on to a women's tag team match. We're going to have a women's tag team match. And I'm proud to announce that the women's tag team titles will be back here in Universe Mode on the Monday Night Raw brand. But here comes the Empress of Tomorrow. From Osaka, Japan. Osaka. The Empress of Tomorrow, former Raw Women's Champion, the dangerous Asuka. They're going to team up with Io Shirai. Take it on the returning Lacey Evans and her tag team partner. We're going to find out who will it be momentarily. Women's tag team titles back here on the red brand. I was told earlier tonight that, that the women's division was able to gain, was able to gain tag teams. I mean, Oscar knows what it's like to hold on to those women's tag team titles. Former two-time WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Well, the Empress ready for action here back live on Raw in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Loud chance for Io Shirai, former Raw Women's Champ in her own right. But there comes the woman that returned at the and Money in the Bank pay-per-view. From Paris Island, South Carolina, Lacey Evans! The sassy Southern Belle, the former Marine in Lacey Evans. Making her way towards the ring. She had a hard knock life years ago. When she was younger, but now they're going to make the most out of it. They're going to show the world what she's all about. But who's her tag team partner, though? That's what I want to know. Lacey Evans ready to go. We haven't seen Lacey Evans in months, but now she's back. Who's her partner? Man. Wait. Wait a minute. 
Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose is here. And from Yorktown Heights, New York, Mandy Rose. So it's Mandy Rose and Lacey Evans. Two blondes are going to coexist tonight up against the uh, Japanese duo of Asuka and Io Shirai. So this is a very interesting scenario here. I mean, then again, you have two women who think very highly of themselves. So it kind of matches up if you ask me. But either way, women's tag team action here live on Raw. Not to mention later on, we're gonna have Cesaro one-on-one -on -one with Sheamus and then Randy Orton and Ricochet in our main event. Plus more tonight here on the Red Brand. Here we go, tag team matches underway. Got up with time turn to a spin kick there by EO. And now, ooh, has something in mind, but look at Evans. We're right the back shots in the midsection, able to fight out, ooh, missed the clothesline. EO Shirai able to duck that one. But now, ooh, try to send him to the corner, but the referee Got in, the, got in the harm's way. Lacey Evans, pump handle, no. Landed on her feet, but oh, back elbow. And now Evans got caught, that is fly. Holy, what an exchange there. What a beautiful exchange by Io and Lacey Evans there. Io able to get the best of it, able to make the tag to the Empress of Tomorrow. And now Lacey Evans got her on the ropes. I'm going to do some damage here, attacking that arm. It's going to work here. As uh, Lacey Evans again, just being in, in control. But look at Asuka. Elbows right to the midsection. And now Asuka got it from behind. Beautiful German suplex. Able to take her down, able to turn her over, and now look at that, attack that arm as well. As Oscar, oh, suffers a pump kick by Lacey Evans. Came out of nowhere. Evans now trying to square up with Oscar, kick to the gun, right and left to the face, kick after kick there. And now Evans takes her down with an arm drag. Oh. Bringing the pain towards the dangerous one, and now tagged. Here comes Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose's first match here on Raw in uh, in how long? In years almost. Ooh. Mandy Rose taking it towards. Oh God. Oh. Shot to shot to the kick, and oh, Mandy able to fire back. Oh, but Oscar. Able to fire back there. And now look at Asuka. Look at this. Got on a triangle choke hold here. Got it applied. EO trying to get involved to stop. Maybe Lacey Evans trying to get involved. We couldn't see from that camera angle. But luckily, Mandy Rose able to fight out the hole. This match rolls on. And now, oh, kicked in the midsection. Got up with tie up. Ducks under. Takes her down. I mean, this tag team. Of Edmonton Rose being a bit more aggressive, being more dominant up against Asuka and Io. And now tag, here comes Lacey Evans. The, what was it, sexy, sassy Southern Belle. Able to get back in the ring here. Kicked in the midsection. What's this? Swinging neckbreaker, bit of a move there. And now, oh! Able to roll through it to a splash almost by Lacey Evans. Miss Evans taking it towards Oscar, but Oscar trying to fight back. The momentum beginning to shift. Can Oscar remain control? For the first time since 2K17, WWE Payback returns as a pay-per-view, featuring both Raw and SmackDown brands. You don't want to miss the next pay-per-view in Universe Mode, WWE Payback. As they're back live on Monday Night Raw here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Mandy Rose able to plan with that implant buster. Will it be enough? No, Io Shirai able to make the save. And oh, Mandy trying to get her from behind. But luckily Io able to dodge and avert disaster. Oh! Big old kick to the spot by Mandy Tag. Here comes Lacey Evans. 
Man, Randy Rose and Lacey Evans been in control in this tag team match. Swinging neck breaker and a big old splash to follow. Io Shirai and Asuka have been struggling throughout the break and the, it continues on here. Shot to shot to the face. But now look at Asuka trying to get back in it. Asuka got her hands on Evans. Able to get into the corner. Tag. Here comes Io. Snapmare takedown. And oh! Oh! Tandem offense there. That neck snap and then the kick. And now Io with a knee! Driving the knee right to the mush of Evans. And now look at Io going up top, looking to fly. Will she, will she be able to nail it? No. Evans up to her feet. What's this? Oh, Carter! Hurricane run off the top. Able to get it down with a Hurricane Rana. Did Io, the genius of the sky, able to make the tag to the Empress of Tomorrow. Kick to the midsection. Hip attack applied. Hip attack landed its mark. Referee trying to get in position. Well, luckily, Mandy Rose able to get in the ring in time. And now look at Asuka. They're gonna try to take out Mandy Rose as she does. And now Asuka, uh-oh. Lacey Evans might be in deep trouble here. Asuka, oh, elbow. Able to counter it. Evans with Evans with a slap. Paintbrush. Able to do some damage, goes for the cover. And, oh, oh, and a kick at a two. Io Shirai able to take out Mandy Rose with that uh, air raid crash on the outside. Showing the pinfall attempt by Lacey Evans. And now look at this, what's this? That well, looks like a cross face like submission by Evans on the Oscar. Lacey Evans making a bold move here. They're gonna try to make the dangerous one tap out. But look at Oscar, elbows, able to get out the hold. You see Io right there to make the save, but oh, double knees. This tag team match all over the place tonight. You got women fighting outside the ring, and then a lot going on inside the ring as well. Tag, snapmare takedown, next snap, and a kick. Things are starting to look good for Asuka and Io. David to take her down in the knee. Able to take her down with the knee. And now, Io Shirai up top. We're going to go for that ice. I move to Lens. It's marked. But I think the referee called for a rope breaker. Maybe Io decided to cancel the pin attempt. Look at him. Go for it again. And she does. The pin nails it. Will it be to pin Lacey Evans? Left the boots on the kick and a toe. Oh my goodness. Tag team wrestling indeed here live on Raw, especially from the women here with the women's tag team titles returning. As Lacey Evans, oh no, women's right. The women's right. Hook of the leg, does she have her? Oscar made the save in time. Oscar able to make the save, and now Evans takes out Oscar outside the ring. I'm sure the tag team champions Natalia and Beth Phoenix are watching on. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh, and then a women's right. Down goes Io Shirai. Oscar being kept at bay at ringside. Evans and Mandy Rose with a win. Wow. Mandy Rose and Lacey Evans, big win for their tag team debut here live on Raw. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. There's Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes has arrived in the building. Despite that he wasn't supposed to be scheduled to be here tonight. But Cody Rhodes making his way out here. And now Rhodes moving that security out the way. Rhodes is in the building. Well, it's Dobby coming up next. Live and Raw 101 action. Cesaro going one on one. Former tag team partner of the bar in the Celtic Warrior in Sheamus. Sheamus is going to build momentum heading towards the payback pay per view.
Cody Rhodes is in the building. I, who, who knows what could happen here tonight when Randy Orton goes one on one with Ricochet in our main event. Still to come later on tonight. But right now, here comes the Swiss Cyborg. The King of Swing himself. A former tag team champion, United States champion, and intercontinental champion. Cesaro making his way towards the ring. They're going to go one on one with his former tag team partner. No doubt Cesaro has made a name for himself here on the Red Brand. We've seen Cesaro be in big match situations in the past. Sally couldn't get the job done, but no doubt we know that Cesaro can hang with the best of them. I'll never forget his match with The Undertaker at the Royal Rumble last year. Cesaro was able to take it towards the dead man. But there comes his opponent. A man who made a big return at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Plans to kick people's heads off here on the red brand. Because ladies and gentlemen, it's fight night here on Raw. The Celtic Warrior, I mean, he was drafted to Raw last year. And luckily, didn't get drafted at all this year at all. And, well, again, they're going to build momentum as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Samoa Joe on payback at the payback pay-per-view two weeks from tonight for the U.S. title. Sheamus, a man that no one like to hold on to a championship like that caliber. A former United States champion back all the way in 2K15 in season one. Former North American champion. Held the title last year at WrestleMania. Lost it to Sami Zayn. And Sheamus. No doubt. He has a lot to deal with here tonight. Here we go. The bar collides here live on Raw. Sheamus versus Cesaro. Here we go, match begins, cut off a tie-up, got him downstairs, hooks the arm, and turns it into a tiger bomb right off the bat. And now Cesaro got the leg here, wait a minute. Cesaro got the leg into a, a Boston Crab, single leg Boston Crab here. But look at Samus easily able to find a way out the hold. And now the Celtic Warrior trying to throw a right but knee there by Cesaro. Able to block that shot. And now Seamus got him trying to go for an Irish curse. Look at that camera angle. He tried to go for that Irish curse. Back elbows by Cesaro. And Cesaro takes him down. Big old side Yuranagi slam. And now a double foot stomp after those kicks onto Seamus. Shot after shot there by Cesaro. And now. The King of Swim, they're going to bring his former partner right into the corner. They're going to go for a move attacking that arm. Doing some damage there. And now Cesaro, they're going to take it up a notch. Uppercut after uppercut on the Kiltic Warrior. Uh-oh. Here comes the uppercut train. Because ain't no putty like an uppercut putty. Because an uppercut putty doesn't stop. And Cesaro now, drop kick. Goes for the cover, hook of the leg. Will it be? Soon as the down, two count. And Seamus, Seamus, a kick out of two. And now Cesaro. Uh oh. Uh oh. The king of swing. Showing why he is the king of swing here. And the count of 7.5. Cesaro able to take Seamus down with the swing. He tried to follow up with a sharpshooter, but luckily Seamus is able to dodge a bullet. Ooh, neat to the midsection. And now Seamus got him up on the shoulders. Could it be time for the white noise? White noise there by Seamus to pin Cesaro. Shoulders are down. No, not able to get the job done there. Wanting to send a message to Samoa Joe, but couldn't get it there. Got him up. Oh, the bro kick. That's going to do it. Hook of the leg. The bro kick. And Cesaro got the shoulder up. Seamus can't believe it. 
Crouch Channing, we're not worthy. I mean, good grief. Cesaro gonna know, or Seamus rather, gotta know that Cesaro is not an easy superstar to defeat here. Those three Irish curse injecting the Irish curse into the Swiss sideboard, and now Seamus up top. Seamus got bad intentions. Not gonna like the view! Shoulder tackle, down goes Cesaro. And a shot to the back of the knee. And another one. Going to work on Cesaro's left knee again and again. This could be a way for Seamus to send a massive statement towards the United States Champion. Samoa Joe may not be here tonight, but I'm sure he's watching Seamus very closely here. Shot the shot and a stop for good measure to pin Cesaro, but not enough to put him away. And now Seamus. Oh, he has something in mind, but Cesaro turned it around. And now elbow there by the Celtic Warrior. Got him up on his shoulders. Trying to go for white noise. Nice counter. Cesaro able to slip down to the back door. Side your leggy slam. Oh, but Seamus got run up to his feet, though. Seamus got run up to his feet. He sends Cesaro into the corner. That shot to the midsection. Knees after knees. Cesaro in a bad shape, in a bad position. Seamus up top. Able to drop the elbow right into the heart of Cesaro. Goes for the cover. And that's it. Seamus with a win. The Celtic Warrior. Not afraid to send a message. That was a hard fought battle between the former tag team partners. But in the end, Seamus with a win. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't go to work. It's coming up next to our main event. Randy Orton going one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet live next. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. On the next episode of Raw, we're going to see a massive tag team main event. Cena and Samoa Joe take on the Universal Champion, Karrion Cross and the Celtic Warrior, Seamus. That's a tag team main event match next week. Also, Mace will go one-on-one -on -one with Xavier Woods. Woods returns to Raw after what happened with Kingston earlier tonight. No doubt Woods will be trying to get revenge for his boy, Kofi Kingston, up against Mace next week. Also, the Raw Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair, will be in action as she goes one-on-one -on -one with fellow four, ho four Horsewoman member in Bailey all next week, live on Raw. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event of the evening. Here comes the Viper. The man that'll go one-on-one -on -one with Cody Rhodes at the Payback. The contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper. Randy Orton. We heard from him earlier tonight. Bringing up the past with him and Cody Rhodes, former protege in the legacy back in 2009. Randy Orton, they're going to go ahead and go one on one with Cody Rhodes at payback. Orton claimed that the RKO last week wasn't personal, at least not to him. But then Ricochet was able to call out Orton's bluff, saying that Randy Orton is jealous of the fact that Cody Rhodes got all of the attention, all of the spotlight, main evented Raw last week in his return. And Orton couldn't handle that, that his ego, his ego got a bit fractured. But also Randy Orton got a little personal with Ricochet, telling Ricochet, well, you haven't done much either in the last few months. I've been at WrestleMania, I've been a world champion. You've been floundering since you lost the Cruiserweight title. And Ricochet said, well, I have a chance to change that starting tonight. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds. 
I mean, no doubt, Ricochet is no slouch. He has accomplished so much in his career here in WWE. When he first had his first pay-per-view match, he won the WWE title. Then went on to have his first WrestleMania match with John Cena for that very championship. Ricochet, one of the superstars in the WWE in the last few years, been able to make a name for himself. Once a sole survivor for Survivor Series a few years back, Ricochet knows what it's like to be in a big match situation. And he's in a, again here tonight. Ricochet is going to go one on one with Ryan. What the? Wait a minute, it's Cody Rhodes. We saw him earlier. Arrived in the building. Rhodes is at ringside. Cody Rhodes is going to watch this match up close and personal despite that Cody Rhodes is not supposed to be here. But I guess he took it upon himself to uh, visit the Viper early on. As Ricochet is going to try to focus here, knowing that Cody Rhodes is at ringside. But is Rhodes there to help out Randy Orton, who used to be his old protege? Big old Pele kick there by Ricochet. And now Ricochet trying to figure out what he can do to the Viper. These two have had matches on pay per view in the past. They fought for world titles. As Ricochet springboard with a drop kick. And now. Ooh, Elbow right to the back of the skull. As one of the reasons why Ricochet was able to uh, succeed is just never say die attitude. Ricochet up top looking to fly maybe onto Orton here. Got caught. Randy Orton. Oh my god. Dropping Ricochet with that wicked power bomb. And now Orton looking to capitalize here. Randy Orton got him in position. Face first, out of the corner. But look at Ricochet trying to fight back. Randy Orton once started the rivalry with Ricochet years ago, all because he didn't like the fact that Ricochet debuted and easily won the WWE title. Orton took offense to that because of Orton's pass, where he had to work very hard to get a shot. DDT by Ricochet. And now Randy Orton trying to get him there, and he does. Randy Orton going to try to take it towards Ricochet. Bell to belly suplex by the former world champion. Last held the title back at the Royal Rumble when he lost it to CM Punk. T-Bone suplex. And now the Viper looking to pound away. Looking to send the message towards Cody Rhodes. As Orton now going to work here. Choking the life. Choking the life out of Ricochet. You've seen a lot happen tonight. T-Bar attacking Kofi Kingston after his one-on-one -on -one match with Kingston. Able to get his first win, does T-Bar. Retribution able to send a message towards Kofi and the New Day. Trying to go for a drop kick, got caught. Stomped to the abdomen. And now we're going to Randy Orton, trying to go for the punt. Oh my god. Orton with a pump kick. Is it enough to put him to say no. Not able to put him away. In this case, I guess Randy Orton didn't put too much uh, oomph into it. Into that pump kick. Orton off top with an elbow, with an elbow right to the heart. Also seeing women's tag action. We saw Lacey Evans and Mandy Rhodes get a win over Asuka and Io Shirai. Mia Yim able to gain momentum heading towards payback against Charlotte Flair, getting a win over Candice LeRae. And now we got this matchup here, trying to go for an RKO. Beautiful counter by Ricochet. Not to mention Sheamus getting a win over Cesaro moments ago. Goes for the cover, hook of the leg, but luckily Ricochet, or Randy rather, able to kick out at one. Oh man. And now look at this. Ricochet got him in position here. Oh! A unique maneuver there by Ricochet, able to take him down. Ricochet was able to counter the RKO. Is this why? 630 lands! 630 on Orton! Could it be enough? Orton kicked out of two! You gotta be kidding me! Look at this! Try to go for a 450. Randy got out the way. 
Good look at Ricochet, got it from behind. Roll through, up and bow! Pele kick, standing shooting star. And another! And oh, Randy with a kick. A kick right to the temple. Or into the block up. Look at Ricochet, got him up on his shoulders. With a Death Valley driver. Beautiful maneuver there by Ricochet. Ricochet trying to keep Randy Orton down. What's he gonna do here? Ricochet, shooting star! But Orton got the knees up. Randy Orton got the knees up. And now the Viper got him up on his shoulders. What's this? Oh, look at Ricochet able to counter! In for the DDT! Ricochet able to counter the, the maneuver that Orton had planned for Ricochet. Turned into a DDT. And now, the one and only up top! Got caught again! Oh my god! Planet with a vicious power bomb. You know what's coming. RKO! The devastating three letters. RKO! Not enough for the win! Ricochet kicked out of town! If you're Randy Orton, what is going through your mind knowing? That one of your former rivals kicked out of your finishing maneuver. First the punt kick, and now second time, RKO! RKO! Orton gets the win! Holy! Randy Orton gets the win against Ricochet here tonight. Back and forth battle, but in the end, the Viper prevails. Sending a message to wait. Hey, wait, Cody! Cody Rhodes! Kendall Stick! Sending a message of his own. That indeed, payback is coming.